Joe Biden officially kicked off his presidential campaign this morning, reshaping the Democratic race for the White House. But some are wondering, how will the former VP go over with the uh, critical swing states like Florida? Well, Spectrum News 13's Washington Bureau reporter Samantha Joe Roth is taking a close look at that. She is on Capitol Hill with more. Good afternoon, Samantha Joe. Well, Eric, it's finally official. Joe Biden, one of the most recognizable names in politics, is jumping into the 2020 presidential race joining a very crowded field, all vying for the Democratic presidential nomination. But with 20 other contenders, can Biden win in a complex battleground like Florida? Now, the 76-year-old has already indicated that he is setting his sights on the Sunshine State, and he's differentiating himself from other candidates, immediately releasing Spanish-language advertising. The ad filmed in South Florida indicates just how seriously Biden intends to court the Latino vote, a critical voting block in the state state that exceeds 16 percent and a major part of the electorate in other early states like Nevada and California, which has moved its primary up to March 3rd. Now, the big question is, can Biden defeat President Trump in the general election? Now, experts believe he does have a shot, but he has to get through a pretty bruising primary process to get there. We did just have a sort of Joe Biden style candidate in Bill Nelson in Florida, and he ended up not winning. I will say that Biden as sort of a maybe not necessarily moderate uh, uh, on the overall political spectrum, but is closer to the center, I guess, than many of the other Democrats. That is usually the kind of Democratic candidate that Democrats have sort of preferred in Florida. Now, Biden received a warm reception from Florida voters during a visit in late October, rallying support for former Senator Bill Nelson, along with other Democrats. Now, the big question, you know, Steve Shale, who was a former advisor who helped lead President Obama to two victories in the state, is also going to serve as a senior advisor to Biden. But California Senator Kamala Harris has already secured the former president's top fundraiser in the state, which could be an indication that the former Former VP has a lot of work to do ahead of a long primary process going forward. Reporting on Capitol Hill, Samantha Joe Roth, Spectrum News 13.